street for about 180 priests. And Father Kevin always um, begins the priest retreat the first day with confession. Because he always says to the priest, you know, in a lot of retreats they have it the third or fourth day, and he always says, better get rid of all the baggage. <laughs> and we're going to have a healing service the next day. And, you know, I mean, it's great to go the first night. Now, at the end uh, of this particular retreat, the priests were giving testimony. And three priests came up to the microphone and said they wanted to speak. The first man had a severe back problem and hadn't slept, wasn't able to walk hardly with his back for years. And as he walked out of confession, he was completely healed. The second man had a dead arm, priest at the same retreat, who'd gone to Father Kevin to confession, and his arm was healed. But the third was very interesting because it was a young friar a Franciscan, and he had decided he was leaving the priesthood. And he had come in this retreat because a friend of his had said, you know, you should really try. And he thought, confession, you know, I'll go. But he wasn't, he, he had made up his mind, nothing was going to change, and he was going through a real faith crisis. He went to confession, and he said, during the confession with Father Kevin, he had the most dramatic encounter with Jesus. And I said to him afterwards, you know, he came to me because Father Kevin had to leave because there was a death in his family. So I was there listening to this, you see, and he was all excited. I looked at him, I said, now listen, Father, you're a priest. Don't you know that in the sacrament of confession that Jesus comes? So why are you surprised? Because, you know, this is the other thing, Father Mitch, that we forget, you know, that, you know. Uh, we, we, sometimes I think we, we, we get into the danger of thinking that we are doing it all. Yes. I'm doing some psychological counseling here. Yes. Or some sort of therapy or whatever might be in the priest's mind. And that's not what it's about. Oh, it's no. about meeting Jesus. Yes, and, and one of the things that I say in the book, and which I often hear fathers say in the streets, is that people say, and like I said, we take the sacrament now of confession. You know, today, nobody, I mean, in many places where I go, and I'm sure the same with you, people don't go to confession. And they'll say, well, I don't sin. Yeah, I know it. I you know, know it. I, my favorite